Hello and welcome to another little series of uh, tutorials from David Ward. That is me. And in this series, we're going to go in and, and create some uh, some terrain, some landscape things. So we're going to try to do it all CGI without using any uh, external uh, you know images or you know, transparent PNGs to, to kind of cheat. We're going to try to do everything CGI. Now we might create some PNGs and use those, but uh, it's all going to be created within Blender. We're not going to bring any photos in. So. That being said, let's let's uh, jump in here. And and what I want to start doing now is in this this first part here, I'm just going to create a, a palm tree using a plugin, and then in uh, subsequent parts, we'll create a couple of other uh, uh, types of trees and bushes and things like that, and create a small library. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and create uh, our first tree. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the default cube in our default scene here, and I'm going to go to File User Preferences. It's going to pop up this little guy here. Let's go to Add-ons and go to Sapling. And you're going to see this Add Curve Sapling. Go ahead and check that box there. And by the way, I'm using Blender 2.63. Okay. So we got the sapling checked off. Let's go ahead and X that out. And now we're going to Shift A and Curve Add Tree. Okay. So now I'm going to just take this, this standard default tree that it adds as you do that. And I'm going to edit it to, to make it look more like a palm tree. So, let's get our settings over here. Let's go ahead and turn on bevel so we can kind of see the geometry of the tree a little bit better. And let's set the scale way down. Right now the uh, computer's acting up for some reason. Come on. Um, <laughs> the tree is a little too tall. As you can see, the, the light here is kind of, the, or the lamp is, it's, I like to pretend, or in my mind, the, the lamp stands about maybe 10 to 12 feet tall. So, if each of these cubes is one blender unit which is roughly supposedly one meter which uh, is metric if you go by the uh, imperial measuring system one uh, uh, square is roughly a yard a little over a yard so let's go three six nine twelve fourteen fifteen so this could be fifteen feet tall so right now um, the tree is quite a bit taller than that, about 30. It's a, a fully grown tree, so let's make it a little bit smaller. I don't want a tree that's too tall. Uh, let's make it, let's just scroll this down until, let's make it an even 5.0. Okay, now we can see a little bit better. Um, okay, that's. I think that's pretty much all the uh, settings we need to do in the geometry section. Let's jump up to the branch splitting, and the base size here is basically the trunk the base of the tree, the trunk. So that right now it's 0 0.4, it's a little below halfway up. But making a palm tree, I want it to be way tall, a lot taller and have the branches actually way at the top. So let's increase that up until we get, until we get to about, let's make it 0.75. Okay, now we can see all the little branches there at the top. And uh, another setting right here, under branches, you can see that uh, well, let me let me kind of go over this real quick. The first section here is essentially the trunk. So if you have if you set this up and actually split the base a couple of times, you can set this. Well, it doesn't really change anything, does it? Uh, actually, I don't know why that's there because you set the splits right there. The base splits is basically how many divisions you have there at the uh, of the trunk of the tree. Uh, the second one is the first branches. So right now it says 50, and that's kind of distributed over the entire height of the tree. So if we were to set the base size all the way down to zero, there's about 50 branches on there now. But since we're going so far up the tree, 0.75, we don't see all of them. So we're going to have to increase this quite a bit to get, I say quite a bit, we're making it even 100. So we get quite a few more branches up there visible. Okay, now... Um, we're going to go down here to down angle, and right now the down the the branches are basically coming straight out from the trunk. Now a palm tree is if, if you've ever seen one, they kind of kind of grow up and they kind of bend down, it's kind of a well kind of an M shape sort of. So what I want to do here with the down angle is have that actually almost negative and have the branches pretty much coming straight up from the trunk. So let's grab that where it said 60, and let's lower that way down about maybe even let's make it negative 10 okay and then we're gonna go to branch growth 
can come down here. And right now the curvature is negative 40 because they're because most normal trees, the branches kind of curve up to reach towards the sun. But like I said, the palm tree kind of, they kind of just uh, curve down. So right here where it says negative 40, let's increase that until they start looking about the way we want. So let's make that even 105. Okay, looking like a palm tree. And uh, under length right here, let's bump that up just a little bit. Maybe make that 0.5. That might be a little, a little bit too big. Let's make it 0.4. And then maybe go ahead and curve it down a little bit further. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's make it 135. Okay. Now, um, let's uh, go ahead and go to our leaves settings. Go ahead and turn on show leaves. And right now they're kind of circular shaped which is more like a, a normal tree's leaves. But uh, since this is a palm tree, we want, we want the the uh, individual leaves to be long and narrow. So what I want to do, if you pull this out, you can see the general size of the the leaf in general, which you could kind of call it the the Y scale, because this one's the X scale, and that's the width. So it's, we make that a little a little smaller. You can see that the leaves take on more of a a nice tropical grassy look rather than an individual tree leaf look. So let's make this. Let's make it 0.2. And then let's set the leaf scale quite not that big. Let's make it uh, 0.35. And that might be a little bit too much. Let's make it 0.3. And then I'd like to make them a little skinnier, so let's make it 0.15 there. Or maybe even just 0.1. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now uh, I'd like to see quite a few more leaves on there. Uh, so the way we do that is we go back to the branch splitting and go ahead and say levels of three. Okay, the first level is the trunk of the tree, the second level is the first branches, and then the third level is the first twigs of the first branches, if that makes sense. So now we can see there's a lot more leaves on there, but they're not really behaving the way I'd like them to, so let's go back to leaves. And first of all, let's turn the amount down. Right now it's putting a maximum of uh, 25 leaves per segment per branch. So I want to lower that way down so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. So let's just make that 10. And you can see we can they're not quite as thick there. Now, I would like for the the sub branches of our main branches to kind of curve down as well. So let's go to our branch growth there. Actually branch splitting, I believe. Yes, and let's go ahead and set that down to a negative number as well. Let's make it actually just to make it 0. Okay? And then we'll come to our branch growth and go ahead and set this curvature up to let's make it 15 and I think uh, maybe maybe a little more let's make it 30 there we go so now we got some nice heavy palm branches coming off of our palm tree and I think that's pretty well it on creating the actual geometry of the tree you can go in and play with maybe you want to put some more leaves on there maybe make it 15 instead of 10 just to bush it out a little bit more okay okay so I think that's okay we're, we're good on the geometry now but before you do what I'm about to do I'm gonna go ahead and start work, working on some of the, the materials and things but make sure you have your tree set the way you want to before you click anything because once you click out you, you won't have the options to edit it anymore and actually one more thing I want to do let's go back to uh, geometry no, I believe it is, yeah, split angle, I think, right? No, where is that at? Make that zero. Uh, did it do branch growth? Okay, there we are. Go to branch growth. What I'm wanting to do is make the, the tree trunk curve a little bit, because, you know, palm trees aren't, I mean, some of them are. Well, a lot of them are, but some of them bend a little bit. So let's make this bend a little bit. And we're going to go to the curvature right here of the very first branch, which is the trunk. So let's set that up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. 36 is way too much. Let's set that to 10. Just give it a slight bend there, like so. And you know what? Maybe some of those branches there are a little bit too long. So let's set the length here to 0.3. That looks a little bit better. And then set the secondary length to about 0.3 as well. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now, 
five minutes later, uh, our palm tree is pretty well built. Now we can just go in and start working on the materials for it. So like I said, we click in here, come over here to our properties panel here, or the uh, buttons, editor, properties buttons, uh, and go to material. We're going to create a new one. And you see, you see, since I created a new material, we lost the controls for the tree over here. So now if you go back over here like, oh no, I wanted to edit it. Eh, too bad. You should have done it before you selected the material. So that's what I'm saying. Once you get out of there, you can't edit it. You have to start all over. So anyways, let's call this one tree trunk. Or actually, it's going to be the branches as well. So we'll just call this one tree wood. Why not? Okay, and we need to make it a lot less shiny. So let's set the intensity to 0.1 and the hardness, let's make that 10. So we still got a bit of a highlight on there, but it's not shiny. So if we look at our monkey head, give it a little bit better representation of the shininess of it. Okay, so now we don't want a gray tree trunk, so let's go to our textures. Hit new, and clouds is good. We need to turn on colors, or expand the colors, turn on ramp. And we'll click on the little checkerboard pattern there. That means it's 100% alpha, which is, means it's transparent. So let's set that all the way up to 1, so it's not transparent at all. And select the black area. And we'll make that a dark brownish gray, about like so. And then we'll select the white area. Make that kind of a light brownish gray. Tannish color. About like so. Okay, maybe increase the contrast a little bit. And let's go down here to clouds and turn on hard instead of soft and then we can increase the brightness so we can see a little bit better here about like so okay so let's set the preview here to both so we see what we're doing a little bit better collapse that and that okay sorry i had a bit of a coughing fit i tend to do that if i talk for any length of times so. <clears throat> excuse me anyways so over here in our texture settings Let's go ahead and collapse the mapping, come down here, turn on normal as well. You can see it gives it a nice pebbly texture there. Um, but it might be a little bit too much, so let's set that, oops, set that down to 0.5. And there we go. And let's change the clouds, the scale. Let's make that a little bit smaller. About 0 0.05, probably good. And now let's grab the grab the leaves, create a new material. Actually, material, there we go. And let's call this greenery because we're going to apply it not just to leaves, but we're going to create some plants and things later on. So, <clears throat> Jeez, voice not acting very good. Um, okay, so for our greenery, we don't really need to add a texture. We can just go with the diffuse color. So let's just go ahead and make that a nice yellowish green, a little bit darker. Maybe about like so. Okay, and then we'll decrease the intensity. Let's make that about 0.25. And the hardness about 20, and eh, let's make the intensity a little bit lower, 0.15 maybe. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. And now one other thing we can do to make this greenery kind of pop out when we render is to give it some subsurface scattering. So it collapse all these guys, and then expand subsurface scattering after you've checked it. And the SSS presets. Let's go ahead and choose potato. And let's set the scale to point all the way down to 0 0.01. Otherwise, it'll look really waxy. And then on the scattering weight, let's set the back to 2. Or, you know what, let's make it 3. Okay. And that's pretty well it. Let's go ahead and save as. And I was playing with this earlier, so tree, trees library. There we go. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay. So now we've got our colors and everything pretty well done. Let's grab our camera and actually let's hit one to, to look at the front view. And then we're gonna go control alt zero to make that the position of the camera. Then we can grab that and zoom out. Okay. And now let me grab that lamp and let's turn it into a sun. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do a test render real quick. You can see that it's a looking CGI tree, palm tree. One thing we can do to make the render look a little bit better, let's go and escape out. Uh, let's go to our world settings and turn on ambient occlusion. And that's going to fill in some of those dark shadows over here. So if we uh, set that, if we leave it at one, it's going to fill them in 
pretty much all the way and we won't see very many shadows at all. So we want to see a few shadows. So let's make it 0.25. And then under here under the gather, change it to the samples, change that to 10. Okay, I'll go ahead and save. And now when we render, it will look a little bit better. She can fill in some of those gray areas with the ambient light. And slow but sure. <laughs> Come on there. The more leaves you have, the longer it's going to take to render because it's got to calculate all those vertices and obviously. <clears throat> so anyways, there's there's a palm tree that we created, all CGI, no external images or anything brought in, and it looks pretty decent. So um, let's go and escape out, and I'm going to go and save one more time. One more thing I want to do, let's just kind of arrange that so we can see some that that uh, leaning that we created. Uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to combine the leaves to the trunk because later on we're going to use the particle generator to uh, scatter these trees across the board. So they need to all be one piece. So what we're going to do is right now the tree trunk is essentially a just a, a line or a, a curve, a bezier curve, bezier. Uh, so what we need to do is convert that to a mesh. So just go to object, all the way to the top, convert to mesh. And now if you tab into edit mode, you can see that it is now a mesh. So let's uh, tab back out, grab our leaves, shift select the tree the trunk, and then control J. And it's going to join them together as one big mesh. But it's still going to keep all the materials that we created. It's going to just com combine them into one. So we've got our greenery and our tree wood. So I'll go ahead and save that. One more render. And tell you what, I'll go ahead and pause recording so you don't have to sit here and watch it render the whole time. So uh, hold on just. Okay, and there we go. That's uh, how we get a, a nice looking palm tree uh, that's completely CGI. There's no images. We don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that. We created this 100% in Blender. Okay. So I'm going to call that good on part one. Uh, part two, we'll get in, like I said, and create some little bushes. And maybe, uh, depending on how far we get there, we might go ahead and create some other normal trees rather than the palm trees. But uh, uh, we'll try to try to create a, quite a few different, well, not a quite a few, but a few different trees and bushes and everything. So we have a, a, quite a bit of variety when we go to add them all to the scene. So that's going to be it for part one. Like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in part two.